committee, the journal of your life. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, let me confirm again that I'm David Kimutai Chichir, born some 62 years ago in a village in Kericho called Chetiket, but soon migrated to Bomet. It was the larger Kericho district those days where we've settled to date. I went to local primary schools in Bomet, uh, specifically today's Sauti constituency in a village called Kipketi, and uh, progressed through my primary education, joined Kericho High School uh, between 1974 to 1978, from 6, 1979 and 80, and I joined university in 1981 uh, to do a course in physics and computer science. I graduated in 1985 and joined the then Kenya Post and Telecommunication Corporation where I went for what was called a traffic engineering course to be able to handle management of traffic engineering in telecommunication for nine months at the now Kenya Multimedia University, then Central Training School. I worked and rose through the ranks to be the general manager in charge of information technology uh, and change management, where I served for 10 years between the year 1993 to the year 2003. Um, I left Telcom briefly uh, as change manager chairman. I handled the liberalization and the opening up of the telecom market. Mr. Churchill, the handset reporters say, try to move closer to the mic. <laughs> but you can raise it. Okay. As general manager, uh, Mr. Speaker, in Telcom... Yes, hold on. Is that any better? Okay. As general manager in Telcom, Kenya chairman, uh, at the advent of the world liberalization in telecommunications, I participated and worked closely with um, uh, the management in government uh, to draft legislations, having done a lot of um, work on the legislative changes that were happening worldwide because of the changes in telecommunication, and basically got the communication authority legislation at that time that became the regulator and got Telecom Kenya to operate under the companies under the company's actual postal corporation did operate of course under uh, the Postal Corporation of Kenya Act. It is then that we were able to license and give because up to then telecommunication or postal service was a monopoly and a preserve of the government under the then uh, Act, I think it was um, Cup 411 of the laws of Kenya, now repealed. And uh, that's when we then brought in Safaricom, Celtel uh, at that time, that have revolutionized the way we do business in this country and given us an edge over other African countries because I think the legislation was properly done. I say so because uh, just a few weeks ago, our neighbors like Ethiopia are only giving out a second mobile telecoms license, giving out an m license to facilitate uh, movement of cash uh, and bankability of the unbanked people in the local communities. Um, in 2007, I was out of, I was out of uh, telecom or out of public sector for a while, and I joined and spent more time in managing family business. In my documentation, I've also shown that we run a business called Bon Voyage Limited, which is a telecommunication company that supports Safaricom in a number of areas. And so I ran that company until 2007, when after the challenges of election of 2007, I applied, because of the challenges we all faced in 2007, to really be part of the solution in reforming the electoral process in Kenya. I was taken in as an 
commissioner is the interim electoral commission where I served as a commissioner and uh, looking at the reform requirements to institutionalize good practices in elections as recommended by the people who came to assist us, including John Gridler, a judge, a renowned judge from South Africa. We were able to, I was able to work there for three years, and we then established some of the great solutions we use today uh, to manage our elections uh, in this country. Uh, upon the expiry of the term of the Interim Electoral Commission, I was sourced by one political party then United Republican Party to be the Secretary General, where I worked in that party and having formed a coalition with the, with the then TNA party, we were able to form government and I was appointed as Cabinet Secretary for Energy and Petroleum. Um, I served in that office for two and a half years and uh, Speaker Sir in the Excellency State of the Nation Address of Thursday, 26th March, 2015. My name was among the 175 names that were tabled in Parliament uh, on allegations that uh, I was not aware of. And I wrote to the President as he had basically requested those who had been mentioned to step aside. So I wrote to step aside to allow investigations to take place in line with Chapter 6 and the other uh, clauses requiring integrity of an office such as the one I hold. Um, in one paragraph I did say, Chairman, in a public office one must be worthy of the trust of those who place their trust on them. Accountability and integrity is of paramount importance in the public office, particularly the office such as the one I hold, and you have graciously appointed to, uh, I've been graciously appointed to, and which I hold in trust of the citizens of Kenya. I therefore, Chairman, step aside to allow for investigations to, to be carried, and, um, and upon uh, conclusion, uh, some, the, the specific issue here that was of concern was the, what was eventually coined as the chicken gate scandal, which was um, a collision or a claim of a collision between the commission at that time, the staff of the commission and maybe the commissioners, to get kickbacks to award a contract for printing of ballot papers to a company called Smith, Smith and Hussman of the UK. Um, I think I should state at this point that uh, the investigations were completed and I did manage to get a documentation to prove that those who were found culpable were charged and I was not one of them, Mr. Chairman. Um, in um, 2007, because of my performance in every area of my works, I was still sourced to support Jubilee Party and I was eventually the presidential chief agent in managing the elections of 2007 and Jubilee Amai, the winner of that election. Um, I would want to claim that because of really the fact that I... 2007 or 2017? 2017, sorry, Chairman. 2017, and we did a match winners in that uh, election. And uh, after that, I still continue to run the businesses I ran until uh, 2022, when I was appointed to be uh, the chief of staff in the office of the then uh, deputy president, now His Excellency the President uh, of the Republic of Kenya. That is the long and the short story of Churchill. I've worked with most members of parliament in my small stint of a bit of political life, and therefore uh, most of the members I see in the House are not new to me. And uh, thank you, thank you, Speaker.